Howdy folks, how's everyone doing today? Uh, it is General Heed here, as always, well, almost always, um, but anyways, for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what happens if you kill Captain Keys early. So, uh, for those of you who don't remember, um, on a mission, Pillar of Autumn, and the very first mission of Halo 1, uh, you're supposed to go meet Captain Keys at a bridge after your little tutorial session, or if you skipped the uh, session by playing on a higher difficulty. But uh, after the cutscene, Captain Keys will give you a pistol and he'll tell you that it's not loaded and you gotta find ammo as you go. Now, before we continue, I just want to mention how ridiculous that is actually, because as you can see here, there's like no ammo on the ground, so you really just magically get ammo out of nowhere. You, <laughs> you don't find it, it just magically fills up your gun. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's beside the point. So once you get your pistol ammo, you can actually come back onto the command bridge and you can kill Captain Keys. And if you do so, actually if you kill anybody on the command bridge, everybody automatically turns into your enemy and Cortana will call for security to come kill you. And a bunch of uh, invincible marines will actually come and uh, to take you down <laughs> and just no way you can beat them. Not without some mods at least. But uh, as you can see those marines are pretty, uh, they can't be killed and they take you down pretty easily. Especially on higher difficulties. Uh, and you know, uh, as we covered in one of my previous videos about getting away with killing Captain Keys, um, even if you um, you can't once you get your pistol ammo and you kill him, you can't escape from the room either. So there's really without mods, there's no way to uh, get away with killing Captain Keys, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, you can't you can't kill the Marines and you definitely can't escape. But this all happens after the cutscene when you get the pistol. Uh, so the question we're going to tackle is, what happens if you kill him before the cutscene? Before you get your pistol? You know, um, but that's not possible without mods, of course. So, I did a very simple mod where, uh, I spawned myself with a plasma rifle from the very begin beginning of the mission. And with that plasma rifle, before the cutscene loads, we are here on the command bridge, we are going to take out Captain Keys now. Before the cutscene loads. To see what happens. So, there you go. Captain Keys is now dead. And, yeah, everybody's actually okay with it. They're all pretty chill with it. They're not even our enemies yet. <laughs> I, oh, he, I guess uh, they didn't like him as a boss. Uh oh, I killed the wrong person now. Now now they're my enemies. Um, but, yeah, so before the cutscene, killing Captain Keys has no repercussions at all. No ramifications. Um, after a while of killing enough uh crew members on a bridge, they do turn against me, but they won't attack me because they're all unarmed. Um, I, they don't even do anything, they they just behave normally, but they will show up as enemies. However, Cortana will not call for uh, any um, security to come kill me. So you could pretty much go on like a rampage here and take out uh, almost the entire command crew. Uh, the thing is, some of them are invincible, uh, and that varies, like it changes every now and then, every playthrough, each crew member will be different, uh, different ones will be invincible and different ones will be killable. Uh, but yeah, so we've wiped out as many as we can now, now let's load a cutscene. So with Captain Keys and most of the crew dead, um, not not much has changed. He's still alive again during the cutscene, he, he's been revived miraculously. And pretty much the rest of the cutscene proceeds as normal here, nothing out of the ordinary. There are other Halo games and, and different scenes in Halo 1 where if you kill a character uh, during the cutscene, their behavior will be all like totally out of whack. Uh, but here in Halo 1, with killing Captain Key specifically before the cutscene, it doesn't do anything to the cutscene. Uh, there's really nothing uh, changed about it. And other characters that you've killed before the cutscene, they also come back to life uh, <laughs> during the cutscene. But. Yeah, so there you have it. I guess you could say that's another way to get away with killing Captain Keys. You kill him and then he comes back to life. Now, after the cutscene is over, um, if you killed enough characters, Captain Keys will be your enemy now, as you saw there. Uh, he's, I mean, he's still your enemy, but he, uh, I don't think they'll become friendly again for a while. Um, I haven't actually tried to wait to see if they become friendly again, but yeah. Now, Captain Keys won't attack you. Nobody will. And... Yeah, that's basically it. Now, if you, even though he's your enemy now, if you do kill him, or actually if you just shoot him, or you shoot anybody on the bridge, then the uh, same thing will happen as before, where Cortana calls for security to come kill you and take you out. 
But that is basically what happens if you kill Captain Keys early before the cutscene. And the answer to that is basically nothing, which is actually a good thing this time because uh, you can kill him without any ramifications to your actions there. So yeah, for once we want nothing to happen, I guess. Um, because if you normally kill him, then you know you get swarmed with a bunch of uh, invincible marines. So yeah, there you have it, folks. That is what happens if you kill Captain Keys early. You do need to uh, do some simple mods for it, but that's about it. Now then, I hope you guys did enjoy that video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. And as always, if there's anything you want me to check out, just uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.